I can chop a world lead, I don't even like running You gotta run fast just to go and get some money I'm no alive K, you know how I'm coming I ain't going to no Olympics, I ain't running, I ain't jumping I can make a hundred thousand at the crib being funny Honey, where's my silver sir? Hi, I'm Gap I'm running the 200 and 4x1 relay Things are getting real, and they're getting real, real fast. So the 16-year-old from Australia, Gout Gout, the kid of South Sudan origin, recently signed a deal with Adidas about two weeks ago. They said he's pursuing a pro career, and right now he's currently running his season in Australia. I'm, I'm assuming that it's their summertime right now, since they're in a different, different hemisphere. So they're running meets right now. A month ago, he ran about 20.8. And then a few days ago, he just came out of nowhere in a heat full of nobodies and dropped a 20.29 a week after announcing his deal with Adidas. Now, we've seen something similar with other child prospects, um, guys like Arian Knight. He had a 20.2 PR and came out the next year after signing to Adidas, running 19.7. So I'm um, suspecting a similar projection as Arian Knight. I suggest or project that. Gal Gal will probably run about 19.7, 19.6 this upcoming season. His technique, like if you look at the rest of his 200s and look at his past 200, I don't know what just clicked overnight, but his knee drive coming off that curve and being able to hold it all the way through the line was something I ain't seen in a kid before. And then there's negotiations. So currently, from what I'm hearing from sources close to the situation, Gal Gal is currently working to come train under Lance Brahman. Noah Lyles is coach in Florida. I'm assuming this is the works and the likings of um, Adidas. They're like in negotiation with his manager right now to strike a deal. And also what I'm hearing, having him represent the United States. So leave his um, Australian heritage and whatever behind in Australia because that shit is rolled. And I feel like they can't make him a star sprinting in Australia. So they're trying to get him to run for the United States. And turn him up a whole nother notch. And we had other child prospects that attempted to do the same thing. Signed to Adidas, go to Lance Brahman. Like guys like Jalen Slade, but it just failed miserably. And it didn't pan out. They didn't pan out. He never ran faster than he did in high school. But guys like Gal Gal, who accepted their pro deal at Quincy Wilson's age, they're going to turn him up. So if they complete this and he comes to Florida... And he's representing the United States. Um, I can rest assure you that y'all got is probably going to run 19 6 and a 200. They're going to do a little magic, um, you know, teach him a, a few different things in training and be consistent and help him recover really, really well so he can come back and replicate these tough workouts. And y'all got is going to be a beast. And also putting a little muscle mass on him. And he already just got that uh, South Sudan um, frame, which we typically do don't ever see in sprint events. We know a thing Mo is of South Sudan origin and people of her body type are typically in the distance events and like the mid distance events. So seeing a guy like him in the sprints, it goes to show that he's a unicorn and he's out there with them road ass little white guys in Australia and they're road as fuck. So Adidas was like, we got to save this kid, get him the fuck out of Australia, bring him to the US and turn him up a whole nother notch. Like the market will be way bigger. It'd be way more viable. And it would just mean more with him running in the United States. And I'm not saying this is a good or a bad move. I mean, look like the kid is having a lot of fun out there in Australia. And clearly the training that he's doing out there is working. So I don't see why they'll attempt to change it. But I get it business wise. You just can't always have things pleasure wise when there's business involved. And that's just, you know, when there's hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line, you got to make the big, the best decision business wise. Just look at the kid's knee drive down the home stretch. He didn't get a link of lactic acid, held it all the way through the line, and he was ready to go around a second curve. So Gal Gal is indeed going to be a problem this upcoming season. I think he's going to run something that we ain't seen a 16-year-old run. Well, he's about to turn 17 at the end of the year, but I think he might run 19 before the year even ends. 
But y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Until next time.